trip. we're flying right now is to take seven NCAA football college coaches downrange. When I say downrange, I'm talking Germany, Turkey, Iraq, Djibouti, and Africa, as well as Spain. We want to see as many airmen, as many of the soldiers uh, who are here as we possibly can and uh, shake their hands and tell them thank you. Great opportunity to do something I think that's in all of our hearts. When you actually see what's going on, boy, you have a whole different view and a, a total respect for what our guys do for us. There's a sense of patriotism when you get invited to go overseas and become kind of one with the troops. We wanted to make sure that all of our young men and women overseas understood how much we appreciate what they're doing, and we wanted to bring a little bit of home over to them. Basically, I worked with, uh, with Morale Entertainment. This company has the contacts to go out there and get the great college coaches that the people want to see. They're probably going to shake hands with about 10,000 service members from United States Armed Forces, Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, and possibly Coast Guard. They advertise this for several months that we're all coming over here, and you'll have them standing in line you know, for hours at these bases just to take a picture with you or sign an autograph, and you just want to make them feel comfortable for a short period of time. And I mean, that's all you want to do. No matter, you know, what base we went to, no matter who we talked to, the enthusiasm was unbelievable. Every day, these young people leave the house, they're in danger. Every day in Iraq, Afghanistan, and they're fighting for us every day. So when you talk about a coach's pressure, there's no pressure on coaches, there's pressure on our military. They're giving up their freedom, basically, so we can have some in many, many ways. And they do it with a tremendous attitude. And, and they seem to be all football fans. I've never seen as many Texas and Ohio State fans. Thank goodness we won that game in the end. This would have been a tougher trip. Look cool. I got a question for you. Are you ready? It's amazing to me, every time we see our men and women in uniform, they're thanking us for coming over. I don't think they grasp how much an honor it is for us to get to meet them. You know, they're always so welcoming and so gracious with us, but I think each and every one of our coaches are having a, a great experience, and we just can't express in words how grateful we are for the service that our people are putting forward. From Oregon? You take it easy on my ducks. I don't know. The ducks wore me out last year. <laughs> you got into closer than the theater, or the AOR as they call it, the area of responsibility. The, the people were excited to see some, we represent them, uh, apple pie, I guess. It was a cool thing. We're trying to work it out so there's no fights. There you go. <laughs> uh, these young people over here don't have a timetable at work. They go to get their work done. And here we are, the two pilots that we're talking to flying into the lot are acting like they're going down to the 7-Eleven. This is just who they are. This is what they do. We're glad that we can help get the coaches out there, be part of the trip. It really helps those guys out that are away from home and family. It truly means a lot to me and the other troops. It's nice to see somebody back from home and somebody still cares. It's college football. You know? right. Can't get any better than that. It's nice to know that people back home think about us here in theater. We're doing it for everybody back home. But for them to come out here and visit us, that's really, you know, refreshing. This is by far the best uh, morale event we've seen take place on base. I think it's great. It means a lot. It's awesome. It's fabulous. Hey, thanks for what you do. Thank you very much. Yes, I appreciate sir. you coming you out. Absolutely. We cool. enjoy it. We came over here to see all the men and women on active duty, uh, especially here in Iraq. We're flying right now on a C-17 out of Baghdad. And uh, we're with a group of National Guard members out of New Jersey. They've been deployed for one year and uh, are heading back home. They called me about a month ago and asked me my sizes for a coat and for a hat. I thought we were going to dress up pretty nice, but uh, they said, no, it's for a helmet and for a flight jacket. I was amazed at how heavy this stuff is. It must weigh 60 or 70 pounds, the actual jacket itself, and then we've got helmets to put on. I haven't put a helmet on in a long time. Well, we got a little bit of combat gear. 
We're in the combat zone above Balad and heading into Balad and looking forward to seeing those troops in the downrange. We want to present you with this Michigan Wolverine coin wow. in honor of all the success you've had against us lately. Well, thank you. But it's going to end it. soon. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. Well, likewise. I like Then you go to hospitals, visit some soldiers that uh, have been wounded or been hurt to put their life in harm's way for us. It just wakes you up. I wish all my players could just witness what I, what I witnessed yesterday. Then you see the team of uh, nurses and doctors and uh, soldiers just all working together. Uh, helping one another was just really an awesome sight. You know, it's really unbelievable to be here and, and see what goes on here and how much care. Just heard one of the soldiers say that, you know, we live to serve. And, and to me, that caps what this whole experience is about. We are the best country in the world. Flags are heads, Auburn is tails. Yeah, I'm going to be the official. I'm going to try to keep the coaches separated because they get very competitive. But it's it's fun because what's happened the last few weeks, the, the troops have known that this, this is going to happen. And so they've actually drafted a couple of teams. They've been practicing for a few days. They've made a field in which we, we're going to be able to play on. Uh, as I said earlier, it's not going to be any type of field that we've played on. It ain't grass. It's sand with white lines on it. But it's going to be all in fun, but it would be very competitive. And you're going to have to turn and find the ball and catch it and then tuck it away. We're really coming to just kind of give the guys something to do out of their normal day. So they can play a two-hand touch game, they can have some fun, they can be a Texas or Ohio State, Wake Forest, Ole Miss, UCLA a football player for a day, be coached by the coaches that they see coaching on TV. Maybe it'll just be a little distraction from the tough jobs that they have early morning and late night. Nice call, Tommy. Here we go, buddy. We're going to have a great time. We're going to get them thinking about something other than war. I think the biggest strategy is let's move the ball down the field and let's score some points. One, two, three. Win! There you go. Thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you. it. That's fine. Thank you. We all watched CNN the night the bombing started. Uh, and saw the night sky lit up in the palaces and and realized that uh, that the Saddam Hussein era was going to come to an end and then to be at those palaces and to see the lakes and all the grand artifices that uh, the guy put together and really took from the Iraqi people uh, was really something really feeling like you're a piece of history I actually stood and hit golf balls into the uh, pond that he built and it just is one of those experiences you'll go back and you say, okay, guess what I did? <laughs> I can, whenever that conversation starts around a dinner table, I bet I, I'm gonna be that guy that puts the hand on the top of the bat. <laughs> We're uh, using one of Saddam Hussein's old places uh, across from his palace. Uh, when we got there, uh, we found a lot of rooms. It seemed like a palace to us. Uh, seemed like he borrowed some of Elvis's uh, uh, ideas on decor, uh, but uh, we actually had a really nice room with about eight bunk beds. So when you had seven head coaches and eight bunk beds, it was pretty special. <laughs> to see the faces of these young men that lay it on the line for us every day uh, was so, it means so much to us. It's all worthwhile because uh, we saw a lot of young people over there that needed to see somebody other than, uh, you know, one of their fellow soldiers. It was just really special for us. I think uh, uh, an experience certainly we'll never forget. I just wrote a bunch of cards to all the kids we're recruiting about how lucky we are to live in the United States. We thought we might get more out of it than the troops, and we probably did. I think uh, they had a, a short-term thrill, and we'll have a lifetime memory. Go USA!